I'm Matt Parker, author of Humble Pie, A Comedy of Maths Errors, which is a book I've written all about mathematical mistakes. I mean, officially, it's tales of disaster and errors. Unofficially, I wanted to discuss how incredibly important mathematics is to our modern lives. So, because Pi Day is coming up, and because the book has been launched dangerously close to Pi Day. I have the Penguin film crew here with me. We're at the Royal Institution. Behind me are some mathematical volunteers who are pretending to work to form the background of this shot. We are going to try and calculate Pi using copies of Humble Pi and we will see if this works. So Pi Day we thought was a great date to launch Humble Pi because it's kind of the celebration of Pi which is like the poster child of mathematics. And my campaign is always to get more people involved in mathematics. And don't get me wrong, there are loads of other great maths books if you want to really get into maths, anything. I mean, there's modern authors like uh, Simon Singh, Hannah Fry, uh, Rob Easterway, or in the past, Martin Gardner wrote great books where you can help investigate mathematics. And I, I want to be part of that tradition, which is why I put this together. And because Pi Day is when people celebrate Pi, everyone gets like more excited about maths than normal, we thought we would do a physical experiment because, I mean, mathematics can be very, you know, uh, very theoretical, very, you know, just you read the words and you don't do an experiment. We wanted to make it physical. We want to actually get pi using a physical system. So that's our goal. We'll see if we achieve it. The full video is over on my Stand Up Maths channel. So if you want to see the full video of us balancing books on a very long beam to get pi, you can. You should probably watch that first. This is going to be the behind the scenes of how we actually made it happen. And at the very end of the video, there'll be an opportunity to win one of five signed copies of Humble Pie. So that's probably enough talking. I should get to it. Okay, so these folks have rigged up a, this is our unit of books. One unit which is made of six books. And we have three books for next Half, ah, oh, so books. good. And then we can have, we'll deal with the smaller fractions in a moment. And what are we expecting on the other side? So pi squared. Yes, we reckon it'll be about nine to 10 books on the other side of the balance. Oh yeah, because if pi is three, which is not, then there's about one and a half. So nine ish. Okay, we can we can make that work. Right, okay, let's start let's start rigging the books up and we'll see if the beam can take it. So what we have to do to get the correct fractions of books is actually slice them up. So we got a third of a book, a half of a book, I mean four sevenths of a book, and some people get very emotional when you cut books up, but you know that's the price. The price of maths. This one has to go in half. We'll see how close I get. Oh, this is fine. People say don't destroy books, but actually it's really easy. Look, I wrote it, I can destroy it. You know, I thought it would feel wrong. I, it's, a, it's a surprisingly therapeutic process. This is years of my life, and I get revenge. Ripping the pages out feels more wrong than cutting it up in the first place. Well, so we should we start with that book. and take pages off it as yeah. required? Perfect. But I mean, we don't need to cut another book. It's a good half a book. We don't have to destroy another book. You're right. Yeah. But we can, just yeah, for the last, just because we've got a taste for it now. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay, so shall we just preemptively hang the six, and then we'll take out the thing, and we'll see how it see how it goes. Thanks so much for watching the bonus footage of me calculating pi by destroying my own book, which, despite what a lot of you think, is technically legal. So if you want to watch the actual video with all the nitty gritty of the working out, and you really should, it's a link in the description below. If you'd like to win one of these books, we are going to take five of them that are in the video. We're going to put in some of the sheets from the destroyed books so you can nurse them back to health. And it'll be signed by me if you comment below this video and you give us your Twitter or your Instagram handle so we can get in touch. We will choose five at random with some kind of pseudo random number generator. We will pick five, they'll be arbitrary at least. And we will send you a free signed copy. If you want to buy one, then that's kind of the whole business model we're working on here. I'll have a link for that in the description as well.